Hello and welcome. Here's another video about Simware, software for running the day-to-day -day operations of senior move management companies. This video provides a brief introduction to how associates enter time, mileage, and expenses in Simware. For a general overview of Simware, please see our introductory video at our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Simware. Okay, let's begin. On this screen, I will select an employee to enter hours on behalf of, and this is because I'm logged in as an administrator. If I was a regular employee, I would simply be taken directly to this screen, the entry screen. You can enter more than one row on this screen, and in each case, you would need to enter the date that the work was done. The system also allows you to mix and match the jobs that were worked on. I would also like to show you this drop down appearing called Job Codes. And Simware allows you to charge your clients an hourly rate based on either a flat rate set for the entire job, where it doesn't matter which task is being done. Or, in this case, this job was set up to use job codes, which is to say that you can charge your clients different rates based on the kind of work that's being done. The list of the different types of work that can be done is configurable uh, for each client. And the rates can be uh, configured as well, of course. And these rates apply both to how you charge your clients and also to the associate pay for that type of task. On any given line, you can enter the start and end time, or mileage, or, or both. Simware will calculate the total elapsed hours for you, and it includes a cushion, which is set in the configuration. So for instance, if someone had uh, set their start time at 11.55 and you have a cushion of 15 minutes, it will round it up to 12 o'clock, and if they had set an end time of 1225, but you have a 15 minute cushion, it would round it down to 1215. The mileage also includes a cushion. If you have 20 miles set in the configuration as being included and they enter 35, this means that they would be paid for the difference. 35 minus 20, 15 miles. For the description, there are two ways you can enter information. You can either hand type the information or you can make a selection from the presets. The presets allow for a very fast way of entering data. They won't have as much detail and they won't be customized per, per line item, but their point is to be very quick. The list of presets is something that is configured for each client of Simware. Once you have entered all the data, you can simply click on Next. This allows you to review the data and you can return if you need to change something or click Next to finalize it. I would point out that this entry was marked as being late. The system includes uh, a question for how long you have to enter your data after which it is flagged as being late and the administrator gets an email so that they're aware that there is still uh, data coming in for that job. Going back to the original hours entry uh, command, the lower table shows you entries that have already been entered into the system. These are all for active jobs. Once they are closed out, they will no longer appear in this list. Also, right now, we have buttons for editing and deleting. But once a given line item becomes part of an invoice, instead of an edit and delete button, you'll see an invoice number. It won't be editable anymore. Now I'd like to show you the other configuration for hours entry. I'm going to swap over to another instance of the software that is configured differently. I will pick an employee as before. The main difference is that on this screen, 
instead of saying that you worked from 12 noon till 4 p.m., you would simply say that you worked for four hours. And then the rest of the process is the same. Going back to our original instance, I'd like to show you how entries are made for expenses. In this case, you would also enter the date and select a job. You'd enter the amount of the expense. You can indicate which vendor you spent the money with and also whether you use the company credit card or whether you paid out of pocket and would need to be reimbursed. Here as well, the descriptions can be either hand entered or you can use the presets. The presets here are different than the ones for hourly entry. The list of vendors comes from our list of organizations and you can indicate that a given organization is also a vendor by clicking on the QuickBooks Online Vendor field and that is a summary of how you can enter time and mileage into the system. To find out more you can see additional videos at youtube.com slash simware you can visit our website at www.simware.com or you can call us at 240-285-4619 with questions or to arrange for a demo. To be notified of new videos as they are added, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Simware is an industry partner with NASM, the National Association of Senior Move Managers. We appreciate your time and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.